guys, Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Gonna teach you a tasty lick that's kind of in that uh, SRV blues legend uh, category. Um, just a little variation on, on some licks I've heard a lot. So I'm gonna show it to you right now. All right, this lick is just in that classic open E blues scale. Uh, so it'd be for blues and E, or the key of E. I think any lick you learn, it's great to be able to immediately put it into another key or another position. It'll really uh, help you get better at soloing. Uh, okay, so here's the lick. So I'm going to break it into little pieces here. So it starts with the third fret on the high E. I'm using my ring finger and I and I give it like a little quarter tone bend. To open. Okay? That's the first step. And the other thing when you learn a lick is you can, anytime you learn a lick, you know, take a little piece of it or uh, deconstruct it and try and vary it and make your own little, you know, variations or motifs off of a lick you learn. So then I'm going to the third fret of the B. Then open. And you can pull it off too. So I'm going to get my middle finger to the G string, 2nd fret, and I'm going to slide it up a whole step. So when you put the three little things together, So once I slide that up a whole step, I get my index finger to the third fret of the B there. So, so after I, I've slid this up, I've hit that, I pull it back down from the fourth fret on the G string to the second, and pull off open. Okay, that's it. One more time. Next, a pull off between the two and the open on the G. So you'd have. Fred 
on the D. Pulled off. so far. One more time real slow. between zero and one on the A string. Like that. So when I say hammer on pull off between the zero and the one on the A, that's true. But as soon as it's getting pulled off, do your ring finger or your pinky, I'm doing my pinky, on the third fret of the E. fret of the D. But it doesn't mean you couldn't do that instead. Real slow. Thank you. 
Thank you.